Coalition deals have dealt a heavy blow for the governing party in Gauteng. The ANC has now lost mayorships in the Johannesburg and Eguruleni metros. The DA now calls the shots, including Twane as well, by the way, to help us unpack this shift in the political sphere. Let's bring in the ENCA reporter, Govan Whittles. Uh, so, Govan, how is the ANC reacting uh, to some of these losses? All three metros in Gauteng, gone. Gone, and just in the last uh, hour, hour and a half or so, we've had some more reaction from Fikil Mbalula. He's confirmed that they don't believe that they uh, lost the metros through the vote, but rather through coalition negotiations. Going a step further, saying, uh, listen, the EFF handed the DA control of these metros, uh, the EFF gave us conditions to control these metros. They didn't give the DA any conditions to control them. So if he were the DA, he would have accepted it as well. And looking like the EA ANC only views this uh, change of government in Ikuruleni, Mohale City, um, and what they didn't get in Tuana and Johannesburg as a result of negotiations. And they say that because they, they obviously got the most uh, number of votes um, and they scored the highest percentage, but they didn't get enough to have an outright government. Before you get us to, you know, the, the, the excerpt there from your conversation with Jacob Kawe, I don't know, I want us to engage with that. I don't know. The ANC says they will be reflecting on these results. I don't know what you make of that, re uh, that, that reflection that says this is the result of horse trading between the other political parties. The EFF gave us stringent conditions, didn't give the, the ANC the same conditions. But isn't it that we are in this situation simply because you failed to have your message resonate and enthuse uh, voters enough such that your base, your base was energized to go and vote in the first place? I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm being too harsh on the ANC. That's their reading of it, but importantly, the ANC says that their reading is that their base didn't come out to vote, so theoretically, if they had to bring their base out to vote, they believe they could have still won these metros. And they're not buying the argument that their voters have switched allegiance. Of course, it's been demonstrated that in areas such as Soweto, uh, even in Mamalodi, the ANC bases, the Action SA got a lot of support in those areas, and they managed to, to take votes away Patriotic from the Patriotic Alliance ANC. as well. Patriotic Alliance yeah. has now completely decimated the ANC support in the colored areas. When talking about El Dorado Park, in Reicha Park, in Rivoli, um, and now it's just a battle between the DA and the Patriotic Alliance. Even in Cyril Ramaphosa's ward in Soweto, the battle between the PA and the ANC was, was fascinating to watch. Exactly, and if, even if you look at parties uh, such as the Northern Alliance in Nelson Mandela Bay, the ANC in that area, and I had spoken to a senior ANC leader while in Nelson Mandela Bay, confirmed that they were placing more hope in the emergence of small parties who are campaigning along racial lines, such as the um, Northern Alliance uh, colored focused party, and hoping that they could co-opt them into their coalition and look at what's happened in Nelson Mandela Bay. The Northern Alliance has been co-opted into the ANC's coalition. The Defenders of the People, which were allied to Andile Lungisa, has been co-opted into that coalition. But they're not as dependable as the ANC thought because the Defenders of the People are going to be in a coalition government in Tswane with the Democratic Alliance. So even there, the ANC's bet being placed on these small parties, which will splinter the DA's vote and hopefully come to their side in coalitions, isn't paying off at all. Nevertheless, they don't think they've lost the election. They've only lost the negotiation talks. And after those negotiation talks, they, they described it as opposition parties ganging up on the ANC to get the ANC out by any means necessary. But really, the parties hold the prerogative to decide how they'll approach the coalitions. And that's one of the reasons the ANC didn't field a candidate in Tswane for mayor. And as you said, I spoke to Jacob Kawe. Let's have a look at what he had to say. The process of council is legitimate. The coalition formed is on basis of destroying the ANC, announcing the ANC, not its ideas, nothing else but what they believe should be the right politics of the time, which are completely incorrect, and therefore is not really a legitimate process. We know this deal, it was done in 2016, and we know when it's going to finish. It won't last three years, and we will serve our people where we were elected and we're elected as the ANC only, and therefore we're going to serve the people at the ward levels where we're elected, and in the PR where we are elected, we're going to serve in the necessary committees.
So we'll have more analysis in just a moment of these developments, um, Govan. But what are analysts, some of the analysts you've been talking to telling you, what are the implications of these developments? They're going towards the ANC losing Gauteng completely. Um, that would be a big step uh, for the governing party, the inability to, to retain control. And the analysts are reading the trends from 2016, 2019, and what's happened in these last local government elections, and speculating that because of the uh, direction of the ANC support and the simultaneous emergence of small local-based parties, uh, that would lead to the ANC kind of being kept uh, below 50%, and the most likely outcome would be that... Uh, a stronger candidate for Premier may emerge in a coalition provincial government. Some people are already talking about Herman Mashaba maybe standing for Premier in 2024 under the Action SA banner and forcing the other parties into a coalition. But the analysts don't believe that the ANC will be able to consolidate their vote beyond the township vote. And the trend of the ANC sliding support in the urban areas is likely to continue. I spoke to Dirk Kotze. He's the professor of uh, politics at UNISA. Let's have a look at what he had to say. Well, I, I think for the ANC, it is, it's, a, it's a very difficult uh, message to, to, to deal with because you, uh, 19, uh, 2019 already was a, a, a time on the election when they lost a lot. Uh, the majority in the provincial legislature is just one seat. So in a sense, I would say the election, the, this election, the 2021 election, is a continuation of what happened already in 2019. Um, so the 2024 election, one can, I think, say, argue, will be therefore a continuation of this old trend that started in 2016 already and then followed in 2019 and now again, um, which means that it is almost impossible for the, for the ANC to turn around uh, irrespective of what they do internally in an organizational way because a lot of people who are voting for the ANC are not ANC members. They are, they are simply supporters. Um, and it's they who will determine ultimately what's the future of the ANC.